Hey everybody, this is Tom with The Board Gamer. Space is limited. We are experiencing a bit of overpopulation. The solution is simple. All out war to control as much space as long as possible. Unfortunately, we are not alone in this thinking. We will battle to the last man, but when that occurs, new visitors with their own unique abilities will come and try and take claim to the land. Do you have what it takes to survive? Or will you be left out of this small world? Small World is a 2 to 5 player game for ages 8 and up with an average gameplay length of 45 to 90 minutes published by Days of Wonder. The basic rundown for Small World has each player conquering surrounding lands to gain victory coins with unique and random fantasy races and abilities. Once you run low on troops, Put your current combination into decline and select another combination to continue your conquest. At the end of several rounds, add together all victory coins and the player with the most coins is the winner of Small World. To set up the game, first determine the number of players and use the appropriate board. Near the board, place the storage insert that has all troops in it. On the board, place the crown marker on one. Also, place a single Lost Tribe troop on every space on the map marked with this symbol. And on every mountain, place a mountain token. Around the board, place coins and other ability tokens. Shuffle race banners and place five face up in a column near the board. Next, shuffle the ability badges and place one face up next to each race banner. Finally, place the remaining banners and abilities face up at the bottom of the column. Distribute five victory coins to each player and you are ready to begin the game. To start, choose a first player. The game recommends the player with the pointiest ears to start. They begin by selecting a race and ability combination. The topmost combo is free to take, but if another is desired, a coin must be placed on each of the passed over races. Slide up the combination to fill the void and reveal a new combination at the bottom of the column. Next, collect troops. The number of troops you will use is equal to the numbers listed on both the race and ability tiles. In this example, you will collect nine troops. Once troops are collected, you can start conquering regions on the map. The first time you deploy your troops, you must come in along the edge of the board. It takes two troops to capture an empty region. And if there's anything else on the region, for example, a mountain, fortress, encampment, or troll layer, that region will require an additional unit. The same goes for enemy units. This region, has a lost tribe on it. Therefore, it will require three troops to occupy. Once occupied, the lost tribe is returned to the troop tray. But if another player's units are on that location you conquered, return one unit from the conquered region to the troop tray and any remaining units into the troop owner's hand until the end of the current player's turn. If desired, on the final conquest attempt, you can roll the reinforcement die, provided you have at least one unused troop. If successful, you conquer the region. Otherwise, you do not conquer the region. Either way, move on to the redeployment phase. To do this, at least one troop must remain in the conquered region, and all other troops can be moved around to provide defense from attack. After the player redeploys any other player that has troops in their hand, due to their lands being conquered, can also redeploy the troops in their hands onto their unconquered lands. Finally, score victory coins. Collect one coin for each region you occupy and any additional coins from race tile and ability tile. For example, if you use the forest orcs, you can gain an additional coin for every forest you occupy and one coin for every region you conquered that was not empty. After coins are calculated and collected, pass to the next player so they can take their turn. Once the last player scores in the round, move the round marker up one and continue playing with the first player. 
you can choose to attempt to extend your lands through conquering new ones, or if your troop numbers are running a little low, you can choose to put a race in decline. If you choose to go into decline, flip over the race tile and return the ability tile to the box. Remove all but one troop from the regions you occupy, returning them to the storage tray and flipping over each troop tile. Collect coins for each occupying territory and end your turn. On your next turn, you will be allowed to choose a new race and ability combo and begin conquering just like the first round. After conquering, collect coins for your active race as well as your race in decline. You can only have one race in decline. Continue playing until you have completed all rounds. Add together all victory coins and the player with the most coins wins. And that is how you play Small World. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and ring the bell to get notified about new videos. If you're bored now, click this for more games.